Okay. Um, so first of all, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you very much for having me here today. Uh, as mentioned, I'm a litigator, litigator with McCarthy Tetro. I practice primarily in the area of civil litigation. But as we look forward to the future and we can see some of the big changes that are coming, we recognize that there will be some very big, juicy issues that will have to be litigated that have no easy answers. So when I was first asked to talk about accountability, my question back was, well, what do you mean by that? Do you mean algorithmic accountability? So is there an audit trail? Is there an explanation? Is there some kind of determination of what happened? Or do you mean civil accountability? So I have used a system in a particular way. It has done something unexpected. There is a consequence of that action. And now we have to figure out who's liable. What do you mean by accountability? And as it turns out, I was asked more to focus on the first rather than the second, but they actually both raised some very quick and interesting issues. So accountability, you've heard a lot about values. And when I think about accountability and I think about the role of AI and how we're thinking about AI in the context of law, policy, it all comes back to values. So at a high level, accountability is a very important democratic, social, liberal value that is sort of fundamental to our system. And it's predicated on this belief and expectation that we are active participants in a system, and therefore we are entitled to know how the system and why the system has reacted to us or has, has judged us in a particular way. And as a litigator, I deal with this. So we get a decision from a judge. We think we had a slam dunk case. We get a decision and we lose. And the first question, can anyone guess, what is the first question you're probably going to ask if you're the one getting that decision? Why? Why did I lose? And so judges in our system have an obligation to provide reasoned reasons. And we do this so that there can be an, a perception of fairness and a trail, a logical trail, to determine whether the judge provided fair reasons or whether there is something that is appealable because you disagree with the judge. And so the point of accountability is fundamentally to build that record. It's to build a record of actions that explains a conclusion. And that is no different in the context of AI than it is in the context of the systems that we have come to rely upon. So if we think about algorithmic accountability, why are we talking about this? Why does this matter? And I think Michael did a very good job at explaining why explainability is so important. And accountability is associated with that. So it's associated with this guard against bias. If there has been a, some, if there is some concern about the outcome of the decision, can you explain to me, can you show me how this system determined that this should be the right conclusion? And then leave it to me to decide whether I think that's fair. And I think, uh, uh, Gil, you mentioned before that the concept of fairness is not something that is universally accepted. So it's up, let me understand and let me decide whether I think that's fair. There's also this notion of public trust. Accountability builds trust. And right now with AI systems, they are, they're still new. We are all wrapping our minds around it. And particularly at a, at a national and international level, there are a lot of questions about what are the benefits versus what are the costs. But if we accept that some degree of technological progress in this field is virtually inevitable to one, one extent or another, then do we need to build public understanding and public trust around these systems? And if so, then will that fuel adoption and in what way? But the other issue is that it forces us to remain consistent with our values. I thought the fireside chat was excellent, so kudos to the organizers, because I thought it was an excellent chat that really exposed some of the dark sides of using technologies in ways we don't fully appreciate at the time that they're introduced. Our values are critical to how this technology is introduced, how it's created, how it's developed, how it's used, how it's deployed. And remaining consistent with our values is critical because other countries and other societies will be using this technology as well, and we don't all share the same values. So going forward, what do we do? I really think it starts with a discussion. There is no universal agreement on what is right or what is wrong. So we need a discussion 
with policymakers, with academics, with civil society, with underrepresented groups in particular, I would say, and with uh, people who, who have the strong technical background to come forward and talk about what can accountability look like. So there is the ideal, this is what I want to see, and then this is what I expect to see, and then there is the question of, well, this is what we can deliver. Uh, and it was raised earlier, the notion of collateral systems that will help create an audit trail of AI systems. That's something that is floated quite a lot. Um, in some instances, I've seen it as almost a, a quasi-requirement that would be built into certain voluntary guidelines and rules by enterprise. But we certainly need this multi-stakeholder discussion to help define what the questions are and then define the possibilities, agree on them, and test them and pilot them. Thank you.